Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see here. So I'm still out in California, but these are essentially gonna be home vlogs. So whenever I travel, I bring knitting with me or crocheting. Um, part of the reason I do that is on the airplane, if there's ever any turbulence, it makes me very nervous and this gives me something to focus on. So that way I'm not focused on the airplane going bump a bump a bump a bump So this is something that I always travel with. So what's going on with this project is I, a while ago, started this scarf. And this is what's called a basket weave stitch. So I figured I would, I would show everyone how I do a basket weave stitch. So this is what the scarf looks like right now. And it's called a basket weave for just that reason. It looks like a basket. So you have the stitches going vertical, then horizontal, then vertical, then horizontal, all the way across. So one thing that you'll notice as I'm doing this is that it's not like a five by five to make a, a square. For this project, it's actually four rows by six stitches. On the edges, I have the same stitch regardless if it's a knit side or a purl side. So you'll see that along the very, very edge, it is consistently the same. So you'll see it looks like a purl stitch here, but right next to the basket weave, this is knit wise. So it's consistently the same stitch on both edges, right? So what's going on is I left off in the middle of this. So this is one, two, three, four. So I have four stitches of six done in terms of rows. So we're gonna continue on here. So how to knit once you're already at this point. So for me, this is gonna start with a purl and then the basket on this piece is purl. So we're gonna, with the purl, the yarn is behind, okay? And this is the way I hold the yarn. I, I take my finger and I make a little hook so it goes the yarn is going over my finger, under, and hook. And that's where I'm making my tension. And then to do a purl, I'm going in from behind, right? To do a knit, a knit stitch, I'm going into the front, but I'm doing a purl, so I'm going into behind. Right, into behind. And now I put this yarn underneath so I can scoop it and pull it through the hole, right? So let me show you again. So the needle goes through the stitch behind because it's a purl. I get this yarn and I scoop it and I pull it through, right? And then once it's through, I can slide that stitch off. And then we'll do this again because this is still purl. So we're gonna go through to the back Right, so it's behind, through to the back. We have, let me angle so you can see. We're gonna scoop this yarn. See how that's coming through? And now we could take that stitch off the other needle, just like that. And again, through and behind, scoop the yarn through and off the needle. And again, we go behind, scoop the yarn, Pull it onto that needle and off of that needle. Now we have one more stitch like this. Now you could see the stitch changes here, right? So now th these stitches are gonna be knit. So now instead of going to behind, we go to in front. So now the needle goes through in front. See that? So this was purl and it went behind. This is knit and it's gonna go in front. So that's knit. So with knit, I also shift where this this yarn with the tension is. So when I was doing purl, that was also behind. When I'm doing knit, I pull it to the front. So we go through, and again, scoop it and pull it through. And once it's on there, you could release the stitch from the other needle. Okay, and again, through to the front, scoop that yarn, and once it's here, you could take this one off that needle. So there we go again, and scoop it through and off. Okay. 
and now you'll see it switches back to the other stitch it goes back to the purl stitch so now we go to behind look at that and now it switches to the front side We're at that edge, and I had done two purls, I had two edging stitches. And then we turn it around, and we do the same thing the other way. So now I've done enough rows to make the right size box. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in reverse, meaning that anywhere that has a purl, I'm now gonna do a knit on top of it, and anywhere that has a knit, I'm gonna do a purl. So let's, let's do this and I'll show you what I mean. With the exception of the edging, because remember the edging is gonna be consistently the same. So the edging on this side is two purls, so we do one, two, and then on this side, this I was going purl, so now I'm gonna go knit. So I bring this to the front. And now I did those four stitches, and now I get to the next part of the basket, and these ones were knit, so now I'm gonna go purl. Oops. And sometimes that happens and you just put the stitch back and you just go to do it again. Okay, and now I'm up to the ones that were pearls, so now we go knit. So you see I'm just doing the exact opposite stitch of what was there before. And now this last box was knit, so now I go purl. And now I'm gonna be up to the edging, which is two purl. And you could see when we look at it, that it, it sealed off the boxes and it's going the opposite way. So now we continue and we make a, a new set of boxes. So that is how I do a basket weave stitch. Um, I was taught how to knit and crochet by my mom and my grandma. So if I don't do it the way somebody else does it, there's different ways of doing it, but it accomplishes the same thing. I've seen other people knit and I'm like, your technique is different than my technique, but we both end up with beautiful finished products. So this is my way of knitting and it, it works for me. And this is the basket stitch. So, so it's basically using the knit and the purl. So the front, doing it from the front or doing it from the back. And by creating that reversal, it creates this uh, blocks and you end up with what looks just like like a whisk wicker basket and it's pretty cool so with that i am done and i will see everybody tomorrow and until then stay inspired by everyone take care <laughs>